Grazie. Do I have to say th something more? Yes, please. Yeah? Right. So uh, can, I, can you hold this for me? Thank you. <clears throat> Actually, I, I prepare something to, to say. I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I feel extremely honored to be accepting this beautiful award for outstanding achievement in this beautiful city. I'm actually not sure what I have achieved though. For my first film, my name in Susie to Still Human this year, I've never felt like I achieved much in my career. The world of film is like the deepest abyss of the ocean. It is mysterious and unpredictable. It's easy to get lost and lost track of our sense of time. If someone told me that I'd be getting an outstanding achievement award someday, somewhere, far across the world, I would have wished that it was in Italy. Not just because of the deep artistic and cultural background that this country entails, but it's also a matter of taste. And besides, I love pasta. <laughs> However, I feel that this award come a bit too early for me. <laughs> From what I've ob observed through the years, uh, these awards are usually given to the artists who have reached a certain age. <laughs> and as you might have noticed, I still don't need reading glasses while reading this speech. <laughs> But if something is supposed to happen, then it will happen, and I'll accept it with open arms. I would like to thank you all for your recognition. I never call myself an artist, but rather a practitioner of the art. But I guess I can take this opportunity to boast for a little while after getting this award in Italy. I'd like to thank the Udini Far East Film Festival for presenting me with this award. And I'd like to thank everyone who has helped me in the past. Time is of the essence, so I can't read out every single name from my list. Moreover, I'm still young, so when I get the opportunity to receive a Lifetime Achievement Award, then I'll take my time to thank everyone. <laughs> Okay, once again, thank you for this award and thank you all. Grazie.